I'm Justin. Hello. Hi. I'm Patrick. I'm fine. Mm, adjective. I'm sure there's an adjective for it. Uh, okay, so dragon flyers. It's going to add them together. That's not a... Huh. Because it's a one. It's a minimum number, and the other one's a maximum number. So it's kind of like... Oh, I guess I should write these down or something. It's over there on the screen. I mean, okay, so what are these numbers are like? What are these numbers for again? All right, so allocations or something. Setting allocations? Huh? <laughs> Hmm. No one's uh no one's doubting your expertise here. Just continue on. Twenty five percent of the pool are sixes. Patrick, your set, I guess. Is that how this works? I have my set. Oh, okay. Oh. My set's there twice. Yeah. If you want, you can take my set. It's over there now. All right, so... Uh, mm -hmm. I'm confused. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's the triangular layout.
Let's do this. Sure. Oh, we're doing 1D. Wait. I did 100, and then you did 6. So, like, if we did 6, we we're very likely. Oh. If, if we do. If we do a small die, then we have a higher chance of getting the same number. All right. So you go first. Just left to right. Clockwise? So counterclockwise. OK. Or just left to right, which is also kind of clockwise. But anyways, go. Okay, and then, okay. Um, by anyone, you mean not Justin, right? I thought he, he could only manipulate uh, stuff between relationships he's a part of, right? Uh, that... I think that wasn't the case in the rules, but we decided to make it that way. It actually might be more fun if we're able to choose for other people as well. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so okay, so the act of choosing war. How did you do that? Is it just you choose A6? or yes. you... so, so it doesn't have to be your 6. Okay, so the numbers are a pool of, for everyone to choose from. Um, okay, so it's just any of these six from the first category under relationships, the major categories. Do needs location. Oh, so I don't have to do relationships. Okay. Um... So I can like choose something under like what arms and arcana or okay I'll let's see I use the two for weapons uh yeah all right so it's my turn huh I'll write it down now. Hmm. Oh. I guess they want to be in the hexes. Yeah. Um, I think I might do locations. Um, and do we have a three? What is three in the other one? Hang on, I might. Uh, we have two ones. Okay. Okay. Wait, the what's wild? Uh, 
Okay. All right. I have a need to be a hero. <laughs> or no, he's choosing one under need. Yes. To be a hero. Sure, I'll do it. Go ahead and do your thing. We have one three. Yep. Hmm. Relationship between me and Patrick. Culture? Culture. That's a four. Okay. Uh, don't have a location. Uh, retina. Okay. I can pick a location. Let's see. Do you really want to pick a location? Someone. Someone delete those lines. I can't do it. They're not my lines. Huh. It is. I'm thinking that I I want to pick uh, needs again, but I'll I think I'll pick uh, relationships. Let's see. So we've got war or culture. Uh, four. I'm deciding on a relationship. And a culture relationship. Yeah. Doesn't even have to be spite, it could just be for fun. <laughs> Not the best reason. It's it's a reason. I mean, it could be an objectively better reason than spite. What about hate? <laughs> I don't have any more threes, so I can't pick sorcerer apprentice for you guys. Hmm. Golem creator. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I suppose I should. Um, I should pick one. Oh, man, all the good ones are threes. <laughs> uh, Ali will pick. We have a four. Okay, I will pick war. You eat. Have a scar the other gave you. Yep. I did cross out the four. My 
mine's in green. So by the end of all this, we're going to have the two relationships with each other person, and then we'll have, what, one defined object under our name? OK. All right. <laughs> hmm. You do have a five. You do have a five. <laughs> I mean, we certainly have a five. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's funny to me, so I'm going to do it. Um, location. Uh, location's going to be a five. Uh, going to use the five on the location here. A refuse pit? Yep. Refuse pit. No, it's a refuse pit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You need to be a hero in the refuse pit. <laughs> yeah, you... Uh, what do we got? One six six and another six. The moment the one gets used, it just it will define most of what's left. Okay, so what do we got left? We got your your guys' relationship. Uh Oh, we've got weapons. Uh, more weapons. So we have either one soul stealing scepter or staff of resurrection with one charge left. Stole ceiling Wait, scepter. Isn't there, isn't there isn't there supposed to be an object under red or no or no the objects are communal. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense. I'll put the ob I'll put the weapon over there then.
Alright, my voice should be on the stream now. Once again, I've got to turn on my microphone. <laughs> oh. Ah, who cares? <laughs> Uh, okay. So, uh, hey, welcome to Sepia Dice Adventure Club. I'm Rhett, <laughs> and these two losers are Justin and uh, other guy Patrick. That's your name. <laughs> I am Patrick. Uh, and you are a golem from Justin's creation. Oh, thank you. I was. I realized that I was putting the one at risk. <laughs> also, I'm not necessarily the golem. Justin might be the golem. To be fair, I'm going to end up as the golem, but it could go the I, way. I, I thought I picked it, so you... you no, I, no, it's just you pick that there, That our relationship is one of us is a creator, the other one's a golem. After we're done with this, we then kind of take a moment and go, okay, with these elements, that means my character is Butts McGee, the McGee of Buttsman. Okay, so that was me, and... I killed the one for that. Alright, we're just left with sixes. Uh, let's see, that leaves us the repin. Didn't you say the last number is a wild card? Yeah, the last ones are wild cards, so that's gonna be... I pick a six, you pick a six, and then Patrick can do whatever he wants. Oh, he gets to choose? I thought it was random. Oh, we got three sixes, so it's gonna be red, right? Well, I do a six, then Justin does a six, and then the last then six is a wild. Oh, it could be anything. Yeah. Instead of a six. Uh, okay. the, the reason for that is because once it gets to the last player, it's pretty much just going to be like one thing left, like the culture or the to be a hero or the weapon. So instead of like, you it's know, them. taking away their choice, they just get, like, they can't choose the specific category they're going after, but they can choose the specific definition of it. So, anyways, I have a six. I hear my voice echoing. That's good. Oh, never mind. Uh, weapons. Uh, let's see. We can do a catapult. Uh, what else was available there? Oh yeah, the need. So let's see. We can have a catapult involved. That could, that could be fun. Uh, wrong page. Scrolling up. Nope. Needs. For, where is the need? I am losing. Oh, there it is. Uh, in the public's eye, even when they really aren't. Okay, okay that one's interesting. Uh, or, or I can do the relationship and the last relationship and make you members of the same guild. That one's boring. I do not like that one. I am going to go with needs to be a hero in the public's eye, even if they really aren't. Okay. Hmm. Boop. Ellipses in the public eye. Boop. Uh, do, do. Cross out the six. All right, your turn, Justin. Catapult. Catapult. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. That was. <laughs> I wanted that one too. Because it's a giant unwieldy thing. How are we going to make this work out? In a refuse town. Right! I can already see, you... already see where no, this is going. Very... We are getting careful to the refuse pit. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Wait, I thought, we, I thought we picked more weapons. No, just the one weapon. That's, that's the oh. defining item of our game. The category is weapons because there's multiple under them, but we only get to choose one. And our weapon is a catapult. I thought... I, Alright, sure. Okay. Wait, oh, oh, wait. I Shoot, thought you had one crossed one. out a two for more weapons. It might have been a two, because that's what I was looking at. I don't remember. Uh, no, that... No, wait, I'm working out wrong. Two, two, more weapons. We had two ones. What did we use them on? Uh, that's a good question. To be a hero... Oh, yeah, it is more weapons, because that's the one you were looking at earlier for either... So it was a Staff of Resurrection with one charge. Yeah. That's right. right. I remember someone mentioning that one earlier. I mean, that's not as exciting as Catapult, but it's not bad either. <laughs> okay, so my last... I have to decide what our relationship 
is Justin. So, uh, and it can be anything under culture, right? Yes. Wait. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, never mind. Though, to be fair, just because we didn't pick catapult under the item doesn't mean we can't have a catapult. Okay. We can have that catapult anyways. Boo -doo -doo. Is that for resurrection? One use. Awesome. You probably have to remind me to unmute my mic because I'm drinking water. Going to be worshippers of the same god. All right. exactly vital to the operations of things because I can just make you well actually I might not be able to make you two do everything anyway so let's delete this mess uh, we got this to find let's figure ourselves out then who are we uh, we have to make up names for ourselves huh yeah Okay. Uh, just putting this out there now, don't be Butts McGee. It ruins the fun if someone actually becomes Butts McGee. What? Never mind. Oh. This is my go-to gibberish name. Create characters attached to those relationships and details. I think, uh, before we pick our names, Justin, I think we need to, like, uh, figure out what god we're worshipping. Yeah, probably. Um, uh, I'm thinking maybe we can worship a trash monster. <laughs> <laughs> like Oscar? Uh, wait. Oscar the Grouts? Maybe? I don't know. I think, uh, I think it's not actually a god, it's just... It's, the it's, Great Grouch? It's, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Maybe maybe it has that kind of personality, but do you know what an Otiog is? Uh, no, but it's, I have the internet. It's a classic D and D monster that's basically a trash monster. Um, shoot, maybe we can find a picture of this. What is it? Oh, how do you spell it? I don't know. <laughs> um, I need to find a good picture of it. I mean, just just spell it by how it sounds. You might be able to find it. Otiog. Otiog. Oh, this isn't Google, that's Goggle. What is Goggle? What Don't is go to Goggle? goggle. <laughs> I got an O tag. O T Og T maybe? D and D O T Yes, this thing on Discord. Uh, I have to go over to Discord and Oh yeah, that's yeah, fun. That's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh Copy Emmett's. Actually, I like this picture better for some reason. It looks it looks less humanoid. <laughs> Not that they look humanoid, but it looks less humanoid. Yeah, so that's that's an Othiog. <laughs> wow, that that is definitely a thing. <laughs> yep. It's gross, that's it is, for sure. It is a trash monster. Um in, in cities that are very large and have uh, sewer systems. Sometimes instead of having a sewer system overflow into like a lake, river, or sea or something, they'll just have an OTUG that eats everything. Oh, so it's a practical 
Trask monster. Yes, That's great! I'm, I'm trying to imagine how this thing can be mistaken as a god of some sort. Maybe maybe the town was like... It's a, very possible that it's something? not a trick and you guys just know you're also being a Trask monster. And you're okay with that. Me? Actually, going another direction, maybe, maybe like... We worship it in the way that we fear this thing, and it's like it's a godlike in that way because it's like this huge thing. Maybe the trash pit is all we know, and so <laughs> yeah. that it's it's like this uh, essay I read about like orc gods. Like they don't really like worship their gods as much as try to appease them. They're, like their view of gods is an annoy an annoyance that's just cut that you know, Rallis is suffering more. So, like, their entire religion is based around just trying to make the gods happy so they leave them alone. Right. Oh, well, I think... I think the city was abandoned at some point, and maybe people fled into the sewers. But the sewers are enormous, and it's a huge city, and this huge catastrophe that happened on the surface just happened. And we've been living in basically the sewer refuse pit, and it's just... This huge area is all we know, and there's this giant monster there, and we, if we do certain things, it will not kill us. Hmm. And that's what I'm imagining. Okay. okay. So what are our names going to be? I don't know. Uh, garbage what, what McGee kind of... and other Garbage <laughs> McGee. Um, uh. What kind of city is this? Or what's the culture of the city? Because like, the go-to is usually just some kind of European... I mean, I think that was the intent of the playset. Just generic D and D. I think I'll be Ralph. <laughs> okay. We can do that. Um, so, just to make it easier for you guys. Here we go. Ralph. Okay. Uh. Well, mm -hmm. that brings. Well, I guess that makes it me and Justin. Uh, it's just pretty much a foregone conclusion that I'm your golem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's be honest here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, maybe the golem is the one that worships the god. I don't know. Um, well, I mean, the way I kind of saw this going is I am just a trash golem, or you're just a trash golem. Just, right, yeah. That's what I was thinking, So too. if you're the one who rests up the trash, thing, it's like, yes, I shall create my god's image with this pile of garbage! Just make it I, approximately I to... human shape. Let me be right back one, one more time. Real quick, but I have an idea already. Uh... And off he runs. So how are you doing, Patrick slash Ralph? Well, uh, uh, why do you right. have to choose that name? What's wrong with Ralph? It starts with an R! What's wrong with an R? I can't pronounce R's well. Oh. Um, so I was thinking of choosing the name uh, Jonas, but because it was it was the name of a character in in a story that I read, and uh, um, Jonas went through like this uh, teleportation device, and he came out of the other end um, like, the teleportation kind of failed somewhat in that he uh, was missing parts of his body. So uh, enough of him had to be replaced that he, he was basically um, like a robot at that point. Not entirely. Um, but I guess the idea is actually more that's like a simulacrum, but I guess that might be cheating because that wasn't actually an option. I'm not okay. sure what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if it wasn't an option, you can probably just go ahead and do it. Right. Um, wait, what? Like, if it wasn't an option, you can probably just throw it in if you want to throw it in. It, it was an option, but I mean, it's basically... I mean, the the idea is just like... I think... I don't know, because it's kind of also imposing um, a strange idea on you, because the idea would be something like one of us had... Uh, one of us had went through the the teleportation um, that failed, um, and maybe because when it, when it fails, I, I think it created a copy or something, and maybe maybe we don't know which one's the golem and which one's the real one because of some kind of mechanism that oh. replaces. Oh yeah, I 
<laughs> so we don't. So one of us is the golem, one of us is the creator, but we don't actually know which one. Or not, not like creator. I mean, like original. Like one is the original because of the. Well, the yeah. original was the one who you know did the teleportation. And I'm trying to justify that we're a golem and creator and creator here. <laughs> right. Like they're the one. Oh who yeah. Okay, did that's the teleportation you... thing. So like they kind of ended up creating creating this duplicate. Right. So so the issue is. Um, because like the destruction of the original didn't happen, uh, and but like were parts like was the original damage or were was it damage upon landing? Um, yeah. Well, maybe I don't like know. parts of both of us got destroyed in like a mirrored way, but we don't actually yeah. know which one, which uh, alignment was original. Like we don't know if we were originally left or right-handed. Okay, yeah, all right, all right. So we're just the same guy, just mirrored from one another. Yeah. All right, and you want to be Jonas? Yeah. I mean, we don't have to be Jonas. We can we can choose another name, but that was that was the name of uh, the character that has that thing, that story. What okay. do you think? I like that. I like that. Uh, my further offer, let's have the same name. But one of us is that name A, and the other one is that name One. Okay. Because <laughs> we kind of like we're just like, no, I'm the original. I'm not gonna take the second one. You be you be Steve B. But but I'm Steve A. Fine, I'll be Steve One then. Fine. I, that I have had I have had two friends that had the same name that had an argument like that because we didn't we couldn't think of a way to differentiate them. This person was Spencer, and there was another Spencer, and one of them was There's like, "There's always another Spencer." <laughs> yeah, hundred Spencers. Like, I'm Spencer one, and it's like, "I'm Spencer A," because I don't want to be Spencer two, and it's like, "Oh yeah, I'm one of like infinity." Oh yeah, I'm one of a finite number, so that's cooler. Um, and it just went on like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, we still we still need a name. We can we can go with Jonas. I think. All right, let's go with Jonas. Uh, which Jonas do you want to be, Jonas A or Jonas One? I'll be I'll be Jonas A. All right, I'm Jonas One. Save name Jonas One. <laughs> I forgot how to spell. <laughs> oh whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. Did I say A or One? I think I said A. You're A. I'm leaving my name there. Is it? It's an A, not not a U. I mean, it can be a U, like... I guess it can be a This is a U. different world, maybe the alphabet is restructured. Maybe some, maybe some stupid pickup artist actually put you and I next to each other, and now we're like, Well, here's our alphabet, you jerk! <laughs> Thanks it feels for doing that! An, it feels fitting to have an A in my name, so I'll go with an A. Alright, Jonas A. And I'm Jonas maybe one. maybe yours is spelled out is actually you, and maybe I changed mine to A because it's Jonas. <laughs> All right, Jonas yeah. I know Jonas one. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, do, 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 yeah. So I think that's all we actually need to define there. Oh wait, no. Me and uh, Patrick still have our relationship to straighten out. Uh, yep. Yeah. So we gave each other a scar, apparently. In the war. <laughs> I mean, I'm leaving my name there for <laughs> reasons. Nah, stream can just call me Ralph now. I am not gonna do that. Um, I would like I to be semi-understandable on this. Do you uh, have a suggestion as to where our scar will be placed? Uh, I think maybe like what hap like we were like old war buddies, and like I was just really angry at Jonas A one day. It's just like I'm totally the better one. I I mean, people keep mixing us up. I, I need to find a way so people stop mixing us up. Hey, Ralph! And, you know, you come over there like, ah, I'm Ralph. And I'm just like, hey, give me a scar. And you're like, what? Why? It's like, so me and me and the other journalists can uh, tell each other apart. So, like, 
you went along with it. You gave me a scar, but in doing so, like, my instincts kicked in, and then, like, I, I, like, struck back at you and gave you a scar, so it's just, you know, just a really stupid idea that just ended up with us scarring each other. I think, uh, this, that the identification should just be coincidental. Um, no, no, no. I like, the, I, I like the idea of my identity, like, me intensely trying to get you to give me a scar just to, you know, further prove I'm different than this stupid loser over here. Maybe, I think I think that could be the story, but I think that could be your story, but it's like, that's not what you did. You didn't just ask him, give me a scar. I think you incited him in some way. Oh, right, right, yeah. <laughs> that might work. Uh... So how did you give me a scar? Well, I just automatically attacked back. Like, you you brought the knife to me, you hurt me, and just, like, my instincts kicked in, and I just stabbed you. It's just like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, <laughs> this is awkward. Oh. He is... His Discord crashed. Give him a second. Oh. So how are you doing, Justin? I'm doing all right. That's good. I, I tried to do this with uh, Patrick, but we were away. Uh, it ended up with me complaining about how he named himself. About how he what? How he chose the name Ralph. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that name. That's I a mean, good name. No, it's just I have difficulties with R's and L's. Oh, oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> Should we choose a different? No, no, no it's too late. What? Alright, so... Uh, how about you incited me by stabbing me and giving me a scar? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's even better. It's just like, I need a scar. I have a knife. I have wealth. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, stab. Yeah, we can do that. And this was, like, in the mirror of a war, so we're, like, old veteran buddies. <laughs> you just, you just stabbed him out of the blue. <laughs> I don't know why my veteran buddy would want to stab me, though. Uh, because we're adventure buddies? That's I think what you do during the war. What if you guys, like, just are the type of people to prank each other in kind? And that's just what that was perceived as. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're just, we're, we're just the old pranksters from our platoon, and it just got out of hand one day. It's just like, <laughs> I need a scar, so I'm going to just stab Ralph. And, you know, that, of course, upset Ralph, so he stabbed me back. Well, it says, it says gave each other a scar. It doesn't mean the same scar. Yeah, so. I know, but we gave each other a scar. Right. So, like, so, so, like, I just, like, I just walked up to him, just, like, like, slashed at his face, and he's like, hey, stop that, and then stabbed me wherever he stabbed me. By the way, I sliced you across the face, Ralph. I've just decided that. What do you okay. do in kind, Ralph? Uh, I'm gonna cut his ear. Like, off? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm missing an ear. <laughs> Which ear am I missing? Uh, the left one. Alright. I can just, one. like, imagine them. Like, like, they have their scuffle, and then they're, they're in, like, I don't know, like a medical area. And they're just like staring at each other, and they're just like, never again. Never again. We, we went too far. This is a this is a refuge pit. What medical area? <laughs> We're not necessarily in a refuge pit. Yet. Yet. That's just a location that's going to come in come in later. So, anyways, our, obviously our snaggins got us kicked out of the army, so we became murder hobos. <laughs> And that's how we got here. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, tug, fearing men. <laughs> that, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, give me just one moment to get some water, and then uh, we'll have to determine who, goes, who does the first scene somehow. So what do you think? Hello? I'm back. Welcome back. I don't know what happened to Patrick. Me neither. 
Patrick, are you there? <laughs> Maybe he also went to get water. I should do that too. Okay, everyone just go get water. Yes! Uh, bad. Boop. Guten Tag. Boop. There we go. Now we know Back. who's who. Now they're mirrored. Exciting. Am I alone? No. Oh, I mean, hi. like in which way? Because there are lots of ways you could be alone. Are we alone? I meant, are you two losers here with me? Like in what way? No. Because there are lots of ways we could be with you. Ah, uh, don't do this! <laughs> Fine, whatever! Uh, how did we determine who did the first scene last time? We rolled, or wait, I don't know. I, I think we had. I think you just went first. You decided to just go first because you knew it better than we did. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Uh, so just as a refresher, I don't need a bookmark at the moment. So as a refresher, uh, for the first act, how it works is uh, someone goes, they either establish the scene, and then the other two of us determines whether or not the scene ends well for them or badly for them. Or they determine how the scene ends, and then me and the other per and then the other two people just determine what the scene is. So, yeah, you two know what you're doing here, right? Sort of. Sort of. All right. Kind of. Roll off then. One D hundred. Sixteen. What do you mean unrecognized? Oh, I I know how to do stuff. I'm... There we go. 98! Ha <laughs> nice. uh, Oh shoot, how do I change my name? Oh, uh, go to the settings, cogwheel, top right, and then oh, display name. Yeah. You're Jonas with a U. I am Jonas with a U. I forgot to change it there. <laughs> I'm now Jonas. I am... I am Jonas Men. Jonas Men. Okay, so... Uh, I'll go ahead and just establish the scene. Uh, I think this scene is actually the three of us walking into town. There's my mouse. There's my mouse. Uh, walking into town after hearing rumors of dragons. And... I'm gonna get us a job! Because I'm the good Jonas. <laughs> Alright, uh, do 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 do. So, the, yeah, the relation are, are the relationships supposed to be things in the past, or are they things that can just come up later on, too? They're things that can just come up later on, too. Okay. They're just, you know, things to help randomly generate our characters. Alright. So, actually, I don't think we're quite in town. I think what it is is we're just... Walking around along the road, maybe. Uh, All right. Yeah, so I'm gonna say this is a scene with the three of us. All three. What's? Of us. What is the road like here? What are? Are there trees? What kind of trees? And for some reason, whenever I think generic, generic like walking around stuff, I think Pokemon. So yeah, there's like trees in the road, dirt road. We're just wandering down. Okay. Presumably to whatever the next gym is. <laughs> is it like a paved road, or is it just like a road because people travel here? And oh, it's to... definitely just a road because people travel here. Okay. We're so not there's... going to a big town. We're going to a small town being besieged by a dragon. Right. Alright, so, yeah. There's the scene. We're walking down. Alright, guys. Here. I don't know if you two have heard, but there seems to be a dragon problem in, uh, the town at the end of this road. Presumably has a name. I didn't bother to look at it. Who needs a name? But what we're gonna do is, 
I think, with me as definitely the leader, we're gonna go kill that dragon, bring its head back, and collect the reward. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're the leader. I thought I was the leader. Huh. Hey, I'm Jonas One here. One means I'm the number one member of this party. Oh, well, yeah. Damn. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it just works? Okay. Because because I'm Jonas A. Like, what can I say about that? There's not much I can say about that. It's like, right. I've, hey. I've chosen my cards. I've chosen my name poorly. That's what's going through my head. He's, he's Jonah, Jonah Alpha. <laughs> Jonas Alpha? Hey, hey, it stands for Alpha. That means, that means I'm at the top. Oh, um, we're not wolves here, Jonas. <laughs> Not wolves, we're warriors. Exactly! You can't be the alpha wolf if we're not wolves. We're adventurers, too! Which I am deciding is a thing now. <laughs> that, that, make, that makes sense that I tried to force you into my numbering scheme. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Right, sir. Anyways, I think the place is called High Point, because it used to be the High Point, but it's not anymore. Yeah, I bet it's pretty low. Whatever's left of it's probably pretty low, but... End on fire, as yeah. things are. A lot of money left, though. We can use that money for, you know, stuff. Ale, I guess. Yeah. So, you know, if you guys want to determine which die I get from this, that might be a good idea. <laughs> uh, are you, uh... Are you having us choose a bad ending for you or a good? Are you choosing a good for yourself? I, I've established the scene so you guys get to choose uh, how it goes for me. Uh, okay. So the, so... Idea, so the idea with that one is just whoever set up the scene just kind of goes along and then eventually the other two players like, I, I think the scene, scene should go blank way. It should go badly for them or it should go good for them. And then once half of these are deplete, depleted, Wait, so, I mean, okay, and it, we're, who is here in the scene? Is it just you and me, or was... It's all three well, of us. We're, I think, yeah, I think we're, we're all We're an adventuring party together. We're going to go slay a dragon to get money. Okay. I mean, I think it's went well for Jonas, one. I would think so, too. I yeah. can't yeah. imagine what... Yeah, so what Jonas, would... one, definitely uh, just, uh, determines that he is, in fact, leading this. Yeah, he all has. Right. All right. I, Jonas, one... Am the leader, so you two have to listen to me. Let's go to high points, and then they just, you know, Monty Python style ride off with coconuts. But because you know we're too poor to actually have horses. Are we gonna be paid? Of course we're gonna get paid. You don't pay. You don't have someone. You don't slay your dragon as a public service. No, you do that only if there's promise of money. And this ad in this medieval newspaper I'm carrying around promised a rich reward. I mean, who's gonna pay us? The, the townspeople. The, the townspeople? Yes! So it is a public service. Well, yes, but it's a public service they're gonna pay us for. That's, that's how dragon slaying works, Ralph. You go to a town, you look the whoever is in charge in the eye and say, hey, we're gonna settle this for you. And whoever's in charge will be like, Street, we will give you all our money if you do this. And then you do it! It'll be easy. I mean, I've crossed plenty of lizards under Don't floor. you remember that time with with the giant salamander? Okay, Speed that was of... one time, and that was technically an amphibian. So it, we're good. It didn't have, like, it was, there was supposed to be treasure. You thought there was treasure. There wasn't any treasure. There was a treasure! Do you, do you not there see the just... shiny rock around my neck? It was a great <laughs> treasure. I'm now fancy. I go to <laughs> respectable parties now. We don't we don't have shiny rocks. Not that I wanted any, yeah. but the point was that we didn't get anything from our last adventure. <laughs> uh, well, this time we will get something. And I will be in charge. Because I do good. Alright, I think that's the end of that scene. Yeah. Uh, so, for the first act, uh, after you get the die represented by these tokens, you give it away to another player. And to be honest, I kind of want to see Jonas A have a good life, so 
go ahead and have a white die. All right. All right. Uh, so we just do the same pattern as we did for the generation and just let Justin go second. Okay. All right. So do you want to establish the scene or do you want to establish if it ends real or bad for you? Hmm. Good or bad. I think I want to establish the scene. All right. Um, I'm, I'm not sure that this... Okay. So we're supposed to just kind of give a, uh, a setting or something and then we kind of just try to talk it out or is it we try uh, to create... It's just kind of given overview of like how the scene starts is just like I think this scene is going to be in a convenience store and this is going to be me because you have to be in the scene your character has to be in the scene and it's going to be the convenience store worker and if none of us is playing the convenience store worker then one of us can probably step in and be the convenience store worker okay um we're okay we, we heard about the dragon from an external source I think what's happening a is newspaper are, yes in, yeah, newspaper. We are talking to an authority figure, uh, and we're trying to get. We're, we're trying to talk about the dragon, or we're trying to like coax the idea of a reward for slaying the dragon. But this authority figure is insisting there is no such thing in this area, and they are not plagued with problems with any such okay, creature okay. as so, they claim. Uh, the way I kind of see this happening is like we get into town and. You know, it's blatantly been on fire. The authority yeah. figure is, like, sins, but it's just completely denying it. Yep. All right. So, we decide that it goes, it ends well for... We don't have to decide that now. We can start the scene, and then as the scene goes along, you and I can be kind of like, I think this scene is going to end badly for him. Uh, Jorah so... is going to get a terrible reward or something. So, do you think we're... Okay. Um... So, okay, what, what I don't know is, do you think we're talking to this person here and now, or do you think it's like we're discussing what we've learned in, like, the inn or something? Or, uh, I or think like... we're going to be talking to this person here and now. Okay. Excuse me. So. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I go about... Um... Okay, so, I'll just... Uh, we just walk into town, uh, we see, we see that it's like the town's clearly been on fire, there's ass, sins, beardings, and there's just, you know, some semi-plump man with a mustache kind of standing around looking bewildered. Psst, hey, hey Jonas, hey, Jonas 2, 2. <laughs> kind of scowls at the man, and then he's like, yeah, what? Why don't you go talk to him? You're, you're better at that talking thing. Hmm. Hmm, alright. And then, I think Jonas, Jonas A will for some reason, actually just do what Jonas 1 says, but I guess that's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the trend. I have won so this relationship already. He goes over to uh, the authority mayor person. Mm, rush, um, rush. So, uh, what's what's happening here? What's happened to this Nothing's happening. Place? We're fine. Nothing. We're fine. Uh, Harvest Festival is going to go perfectly well. We're, nothing's wrong. Nothing's going to interrupt our festival. We're good. Looks like your town hall was on fire. Well, I mean, a little bit. It, it happens. It's perfectly normal. It's it's a seasonal thing. We're fine. Some trees over there are still on fire, too. Oh, right. Mike, Mike, go put that out. Put out the trees. No, no. <laughs> use what? Don't use the cow manure. So, no, nothing... You're, you're, you're trying to tell me nothing special is happening in this area. Yep, yeah, nothing so. special. So, so what I'm seeing falling from the sky, right here, right now, that's not that's that's not ash. Uh, nope that that's black snow. It's it's uh it's special to our climate. We're very unique. It's we we have a winter festival of black snow. It's lots of lots of people come to town for that. It's, where can I uh where can I learn about this uh black snow? Uh, at the library that we have? No, the library's gone. It's still on fire. Uh, Steve, Steve, go put it in the library! <laughs> I know you're still working on the trees! Go get the library! So what you're saying is 
you you haven't encountered any problems with this area here. I, I think I'm gonna. I think this is gonna go well for you. Uh, what do you think, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> I think so because it's pretty easy to convince uh, this person, or to be convinced that uh, there is actually indeed a problem here. Oh, he knows there's a problem, but like, like, he's gonna break any moment here. Uh, we we might be having a small problem, maybe, hmm. but it's fine. We're fine. It's fine. So, um, what's what's the deal with your uh your cemetery over there? Um, it is people over there. Ulcers, oh, fine. Yeah. Uh. And it's certainly not suspicious we're burying or it's okay, fine, we have a dragon problem. I didn't <laughs> want to say anything because it's kind of embarrassing. Uh, and I don't want anyone to think we're canceling the Harvest Festival. We're definitely having the Harvest Festival, people. But, uh, yeah, there's a small dragon problem. So, uh... T tiny dragon problem. I'll, uh, kind of, I'll beckon Jonas 1 and Ralph over here. Yes. If they weren't already. I can't and then, remember um, Jonas 1's voice. <laughs> <laughs> he has many voices. What did he say? What did he say? Well, well, no, I'm beckoning them over to the mayor because it, it sounds like he's about to start talking about the problem. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Jonas 1 is just like, yeah, 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 I'm here now. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so, there is, in fact... A uh, dragon. We have a dragon up in that mountain. He's been coming down, setting fire to our town, kidnapping our, you know, fair maidens. It's it's been a whole thing, but it's fine. We we we'll still have the festival. That's right in town, right, for the festival. Yeah. No. 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 We're here to slay the dragon. <laughs> uh. How did you find out about the dragon? It's in this uh, newspaper here. Who put the show showing the ad? Who put yeah, Steve? Steve, <laughs> Steve, did you put out an ad? I told you not to do that, Steve. I'm gonna have. We're gonna be talking about this later, Steve. You mark my word. Okay. Yes. <laughs> fine. Fine. There's a dragon. Uh. So, you came here to help with the dragon. Uh, yeah, we did. This is supposed to be Justin's scene. <laughs> no, that it can be. I mean, I've, I've beckoned the other two over. I've already established okay, yeah. the scene. We know that there's the dragon. All right, gotten then. the information out of the guy. Alright, that's a good point, then. Alright, fine, yeah. fine. You've... You've... We can hire you to kill the dragon if that's really what you want. <laughs> But, uh, so, uh, what's the procedure for this? Well, we just go up there and kill the dragon. I mean, we oh. have swords. <laughs> and then, no, no, I don't, this is me talking to the mayor. Oh, right, what's, right, right. what's the procedure for this? How do we get paid? What will you pay us? Uh, we will pay you money? Uh, St Steve, how much money do we have left in the treasury? Uh, we will pay you, uh, 75 silver. Yes. Oh, oh, and uh, whatever you can carry from the dragon's herd. He has stolen a lot of our money. Right. Nice. He's kind of a jerk. Look, look to Ralph and and Jonas to see what they say. Well, at least we get 75 silver if there's nothing left. You know? Yeah, it's just, I mean, like the shiny hey. stone around my neck, I am sure that dragon will have plenty of shiny things. I'll be able to buy myself a new pair of sandals. Yeah, they're, they're, your set, cur that's good. Your current sandals are very stinky. All right, I think that's the end of this scene. Yeah, that's so, the end um, of the scene. <laughs> what's? Uh, am I just supposed to give this to someone? Yeah, based you, on you give that to someone else. Uh, then at the end of the game, we all roll dice based off of that and calculate it, and that determines how the story ends for us. I'm gonna. I want to give this to Ralph because um. Because 
he's uh, the, the situation is starting to uh, seem better. Not not that it's actually better, but it's starting to seem better. So he's happier about this, I think. All right, so whatever his ending is is go- probably going to be more happy. Uh, just as a note, like the more equal between like the two colors you have, the worse luck you're going to have at the ending, probably. Mm. All right, and with that, it is now Ralph's turn to do it. Uh, Patrick's turn to do his scene. Okay. Uh, so. You can establish the scene or you can choose how it ends. Um, I get to. Do I have to uh, give away whatever token I get? Or yes. do I get to keep it if I want? You I have, have to, to give, give it, it away. away. You give it away during the first act. During the second act, you get whatever one you... You keep whatever tokens you receive. Alright, I want my scene to end badly. You, you want it to end badly? Alright. So, uh, Justin, how, what scene is he in? Um... I think, I think, um, okay. I, I guess the idea of having to give away the, um... The tokens is the idea... The idea that if it's if something bad happens to one person, something bad will happen to another person because we're all connected in this way. Yeah. Um, I think what's happening is we're making our way up the mountain, or or we're exploring or something, and we found um, a large. Maybe there's a wall of some sort encircling, encircling the mountain. Actually, like it was, it used to be a large. Uh, maybe it used to be a fortress or something. Yeah, it used to be a fortress. There used to be a fortress at the top of this mountain, so that's what we're exploring. All right, so we're at a fortress exploring. Uh, I guess uh, Ralph is going to be our rogue, so we sent him in first to find traps, maybe? Like, we need, like, an actual scene. Uh... We're at the mouth of the dungeon. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, Ralph. Yeah. Why don't you go check for traps? You're good at that. I mean, just because, you know, I got caught in one once doesn't mean I'm that good. You got out? Yeah, but it hurt. Yeah, you're, you're fine now, though. I mean, you're walking. Why should I trust anything you say? You you put this scar on my face. You put this scar on my face! We're even on that one. Fine. <laughs> Alright, I'll go check it out. And, oh. uh... I'll walk around... Uh... I guess the, the mouth of... It's, it, what is it, like a cave type thing? It, it's like a rundown fortress. It's a rundown fortress. Yeah. Alright, so... Um, what kind of trap should go off? Ooh, that's a good crap. Yeah, I mean, this goes badly, so you definitely stumbled into a trap. Okay, sorry about the vacuum, but that's is my point. voice set? Okay. Yeah, I, can I think. It. I don't want to pull in the uh, re- refuse pit yet. I kind of want that to be the end no. of Act 1. Uh, I, think, I think there's not a trap here, but just the anticipation of one causes something awful to happen. Oh, yeah, you keep jumping. You keep falsely reporting traps to us. Oh, oh! I think there's holes in this wall. I think spikes will pop out. Wait, no, those are uh, those are mouse holes. How did the mouse stick through the stone? And maybe he had a small shovel. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess I'll keep walking. Is I'll it safe to come in yet? No, I'm still trying to figure out if it's safe. Uh, be careful, there might be some mice with uh, construction tools. Ah, uh, yes. Intelligent mice, I've heard of them. Um, so I'll walk past uh, you know, things that aren't very important, like you know, just a room full of cobwebs and another room with a sleeping think- dragon. I think okay. as a... <laughs> I, I you think walked as, right by the dragon without noticing. 
Um, that's and, it. Um, that's it. You take us down the wrong path. Yeah. You're taking us away from the dragon. Yeah, that sounds it. That sounds like it. I, okay, I, I think, think I found you, the safest path. I think as you go deeper and deeper into it, um, like, are we at the entrance or something? Yeah, I think we're at the entrance, ready for it. Okay, I, I think coming in after him. I think as Ralph goes deeper and deeper into the dungeon, he gets, you know, a little bit more worried, and and maybe he shouts to the entrance or something, really loudly, you know, with, and then and he, he like the calls. Dragon. Yes, we don't know that. We don't but, know that. I mean, but... we're like, okay, it's safe. We go in there. Yeah. Um, right. Yep, that's what I do. Ralph, can we come in yet? Yeah! It's fine! 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 Alright, you heard, heard him too. Let's get in there. Yeah, alright. I'm... Yeah, yeah. <sighs> and we enter. Alright, that's the end of that scene. Uh, go ahead and give your token array there, Patrick. I'm gonna give my token to Ray. Yeah, that sounds fair. <laughs> alright, um... So let's see, we're in the dungeon now. Uh, I think I also want to uh, state how this ends, and I'm going to say it ends badly for me. Okay. Because for some reason, it's fun to keep those two equal. Alright, so you two establish what my scene is. Um, so the dragon wakes up, and... Uh... I'm thinking. I'm thinking he bites you. The dragon finds us and bites me. Yeah. Or he could like. What about breathe fire on your butt or something? I I think. So in this situation, I think um, Jonas is convinced by Ralph, basically that it's safe. Ralph, however, is not convinced of this fact, and. I think Ralph is nervous, and, and as we go deeper into this, he kind of gets slightly paranoid, and he's like, wait, did you hear but that? But I'm Ralph. Yeah, you're Ralph. But yeah. I mean, okay, the thing is... My, um, over, my overconfid overconfidence gets the better yeah. of me. Jonas is the one in the lead. Uh, Ralph is worried, and he's causing... I think what happens is... um. I don't know what the other Jonas thinks, but some something happens, and we... Something that we do... Or something that you do in your overconfidence yeah, speedy, manage yeah. to like draws something the dragon. All right. Yeah. All right. Good job there, Ralph. You're you're a credit to the team. Thank you. Let's. I think. Let's march uh, forward and uh, Jonas one draws his sword and holds it aloft proudly and just marches forward. Where did you get the money to afford that? Ah, uh, we. Uh, I, did you not keep your weapon from the war? We were both in. They they asked it for it back. It was just like a loaning thing. And you just gave you weren't it supposed to, to keep it. You I weren't put, supposed to keep it. I put a lot of work into this sword, Ralph. I'm not just going to give it away. It's all nicked and scratched and. Yes, these are nicks and scratches that I put there. These nicks and scratches, Ralph, represent me, Ralph. I am these nicks and scratches. And soon. Nice. I sir add dragon blood to these nick nicks and scratches. Cause I so okay. go slay a dragon and Jonas marches forward. I I think maybe while you're doing this, uh like where where are we? Because I am imagining we're in a large room or something and I, I imagine I'm, we're I'm imagining a long stone tunnel. Yeah, right, like okay. a stone corridor is what we're going down. I think I think we're looking at you and you're looking at us. And you're kind of making your way forward without looking forward, and we Come kind along. of stop talking. Stop loitering back there. And I think I think the dragon's right there, but you don't see it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm back, like, the dragon's just right there looking. Come on! There's nothing to be scared of! It's perfectly normal! It's getting warmer here. That's good. That means we're getting closer to the Earth. There's fire at the center of the, this planet after all, right? I think I heard that once. We're fine. This will be fine. Come on. I guess what's happening here is uh, we're looking increasingly worried, and you're trying to reassure us. And come on, when you stop, be 
Sorry, two. I keep forgetting our numbering system. Two, where you come along. You too, Ralph. Come on, what's the problem? Wow. And then, like, I back right into the dragon. And just, like, this is weird. I didn't know there was a wall here. And just, I start feeling behind me, like, I feel like the scaly wall, scale, the scaly skin. It's just like, huh, this is interesting. Couple stern, and then I find like the nostril. And, like, well, you just look at the wall. I start digging in its nostril, and this just upsets the dragon. Hey, uh. Hey guys, I think I found a hole. There might be treasure in it. And then I turn around and yep, see you the dragon. Yep, definitely dig for gold. <laughs> uh, hey guys, guys, I found the dragon. He doesn't look happy. Uh huh. Maybe it was uh. Maybe it was the bit about the dragon blood. And then I run. <laughs> I just start bolting. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, we probably run as well. <laughs> I I run. I I know Jonas A will probably run here. Yeah. I, so I'm yeah. running. <laughs> running. So I think that'll be the scene, right? Yeah, that's definitely the scene. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and. I think, um... Uh, I'm gonna give wait, it to Ralph. Okay. So, uh... It's my feeling that... Wait, what did the... What, the dragon was awake in this scene, right? Or, wait, well, what did it, it do? He's a, he was awake behind me, yes. Like, I guess it's not something we're aware of, but I'm, I am of the feeling that the dragon was looking at us as, like, just a curiosity. It's like, who are these idiots? And then... And then it, and then we like just keep talking, and the things go on, and it's staring at us, and then suddenly we're terrified and run. And <laughs> the dragon's are like, "Man, I hope they don't throw a rave. I'm tired of those." <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I think it makes some kind of cackling sound that sounds like <laughs> roaring. <laughs> it's actually just laughing. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I think I think we just ran out of the dungeon. So yeah. It's your turn now, Justin. Well, wait. It went it went badly for us. I think we get lost. Oh, yes, we do get lost. That's better. Yeah, we're, we're, we're lost now. All right, so your turn. Do you want to establish if it ends well for you or if it ends badly for you? Or do you want to establish what our scene is, your scene is? Uh, let me think for a moment. All right. Because... Okay, so we're we're going through the fortress, and like, what what do we bring with us? Like torches of some kind, or like lanterns? Let, let's be honest, we're three idiots. We brought a sword and maybe a match. <laughs> a match? Um. Hmm. So how did we see through all of this? Like, is this is it just that it's the day? Maybe maybe it was daytime when we entered the fortress. Yeah, there's there were... it's definitely daytime. There's like big enough holes for there to be light. And then, as as just time goes on, and um, like I think maybe, here. yeah, it's like I think it's like sunset about the time we encountered the dragon, and then we run, and it's just getting darker and darker, and now we can't really see very much. Uh, All right, that sounds good. We're kind of just uh, moving our way forward, and it's like the the fortress is is fairly large. It's clear we're lost. Uh, and it's clear we are constantly finding places we have not seen before, like rooms and um, new things. And it's because of how the abandoned, dilapidated nature of everything makes everything incredibly, you know... Difficult to uh, travel. Not just difficult, terrifying. Ter like, right. Yeah. All right, so just because, uh, you know... So, what's your scene here? Uh, say, oh, what, like, basically, what are we, are you asking, like, what we're doing, or what, what the scene you, is? What is Jonas A doing? Jonas A, um... Because if you want to establish, I think I have a good idea for how to end this scene. Okay. Jonas A... Okay, we're, well, we're here as a group. I think what's happening is Jonas 1 is, um... J Jonas 1 is shaken from that. Jonas A less so, because he wasn't in as much immediate danger, so I think he's trying to, um... Take control? Leverage. Yeah, I think he's trying to take control. Okay, I like, I like that. Uh... He almost ate me! I think... Uh, I think it goes well for Jonas A. I think yeah. Jonas A can... 
can capitalize on the fact that Jonas One is trying to run away. Actually, specifically about like a idea that I had was not only does Jonas does it go around for Jonas A, but Jonas A finds something. He finds something. <laughs> something happened. He finds a fancy stick, is what I'm getting at here. He finds uh, a what? Uh, a staff? Yeah, I, th I think it'd be nice if you find the staff in this scene. Okay. I think, um, in the back of Jonas A's mind, I mean, it's like, it's not like only Jonas 1 is uh, terrified and trying to escape. We're all trying to escape, but yeah. we all happen to be lost as well. But it's sort of like we start to see, um, like, there's, there's like, a big like maybe maybe we come into a dilemma or something that uh there's there's an area that we've seen before and going that way would mean uh getting close probably going closer to you know the entrance and all that because that's that's a place we've seen before and recognized like or the other direction like a fork in the road and like one way is yeah. freedom the other way is not freedom Basically, yeah. The way that is not freedom is you know it has all this like really expensive looking and fancy stuff. And and that's that's the direction Jonas A wants to go. Right. right yeah. Did you see him? Did you see that thing? That was a lot bigger than itself. Brett, your mic's going crazy. Yeah. I know. There we go. Okay. Could you repeat that? D did you see that? Did you see that thing? That was a lot bigger than a salamander. Was. Or. Was. Well, it, actually. Huh? <laughs> I, I think he is correct in saying that it was bigger than a small lizard. Yes. Well, no. Amphibian. It wasn't a Salamanders small are amphibians. Salamander was enormous. Uh, it wasn't that big of a salamander. Same salamander. I can breathe. Anyway, maybe we should have someone else leave. Seems yep, like, I, I, uh... I, I'm still in charge here! I'm still in charge here! You know, you know, I'm uh -huh. in charge! Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I think, hey, uh... Jonas A? You're behind me, right? Behind right, too? Well, I mean... Okay. You... I feel like we should go this way. This other way here. You know, the one with... There's... I mean, you can, you can kind of just see, like... Down this hallway, it looks like things are, you know, fancy and gold and, but, you know... It's hard to see, actually. But there's light that that, that, over that, here that has to be the exit. And, we have to get out and you've of got here. that match over there, and, you know, you could use the light with these candles, but these candles probably won't last forever. We should probably get more of these. We can't stay here, too. The dragon will eat us! Then we won't get well, any treasure! Well... I mean, we we can just take a look over there. Uh, you know where the but, candles are. I... Okay, fine, okay, fine. But I'm leading the way. We we do what you want, but I'm still in charge. And then Jonas one like hesitantly goes down the direction you picked. <laughs> okay, so um, is that the scene or is? Yeah, I think that's the scene. Yeah. Okay. So that went well for you. Uh, go ahead and pick who gets that. Um. Hmm. Is it supposed to just kind of be arbitrary, or is it? Uh, semi-arbitrary. Always, always still like iffy about who to get these to. Hmm. I think I think because it's going well for Jonas, it's uh, it's also probably going to go well for Ralph because Ralph seems seems of the type of person that would support Jonas, or at least Jonas thinks, so he's, okay, he's gonna, gonna that. Okay, we're gonna give the token to Ralph, then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Patrick, you get the last scene of the act. Uh, okay. And then I have to... Uh, I think this scene, we fall into the trash pit. Um, so this in this scene, we're going to be. So this scene ends with us going to the trash pit. The yes. So the scene, 
Yeah, that's yeah, how that it's going like to be. Yeah, that sounds like a bad end, so... ending, so... You're, you're uh, coming up with the conclusion. Uh, resolve, yeah. that's the term. So you're resolving that it ends badly. Agreed? Uh... Well, I'm... I'm give, well, I'm saying specifically that we are going into the trash... Refuge. Uh, okay, so the refuse the, pit. So the scene. So you, it's up to you to decide if this is a so, good or a bad thing. Well, the scene you're establishing is us falling to the refuse pit. Yes. yes. Okay. So. All right. It's probably uh, probably bad. So what are we actually supposed to do? like? So we just established the scene at this point. Uh, Patrick just established the scene. That scene is us us falling into the refuse pit, and then. As you go along the scene, you and I determine how it ends. Say again? Uh, Patrick just established the scene, that scene being us falling into the refuge pit. And so, so. then we start role-playing the scene, and as that goes along, you and I pick whether or not the scene ends well for well. Well. Ah, sorry, I hate that name. Okay, so I think, um... Well, I think there's have, a large... We don't have to decide right now. We can decide that okay. as we see the scene go. So we're, we'll, we'll walk along, and uh, we're following Jonas A. Um, what? No, you're trying... following me. We're following A, but you're following me. So we're, <laughs> we're going... A... What's that? Down a hallway somewhere. Um, this... It just looks fancier, so that's the reason Jonas A wanted to go... reason he wanted to go that way. I think... I think there's a room somewhere, like a big room with, it's not exactly treasure, but there's more fancy things, maybe lining the walls, and um, and I'm trying to convince Jonas 1 that it's a good idea to just uh, spend some time here and try to collect these things. So we're, well, You don't have to convince me, I'll go down there, I mean, yeah. wherever we can find something shiny is probably a good place, right? Yeah. So... so Okay, so we're we're in this room and we're doing that. Like, actually, is is there? I guess it's a dialogue thing now, isn't there? We yeah. move to dialogue. Dialogue is usually good. Huh? Yeah, dialogue. See, look at all this. There's this. I mean, this looks more promising, I guess, than than everything else we've come across so far. This looks, what is it? It looks like it's... a sign of something. Uh... It's definitely some candlesticks. Yeah. Uh, I mean, these, this... these candlestick holders look pretty nice, too. I mean... I'm smelling it. It kind of smells bad here. Are you sure it smells... Mm. I don't think it's the candles. The candles actually smell a little bit different. It smells like something else. I don't know what that can't is. can't quite put my finger on it. Uh, you, um... What's this be behind the... This shrine is like some kind of a stick or something. I think Jonas reaches over to it and is trying to to get it free, and like it's like he's trying to be careful with it. Um, and I think it takes a while. But yeah, but as soon as you remove it, the whole I, I, floor no, 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 I think slides open. No, no, no. Here is Jonas A is trying to be careful. Well, then Jonas 1, wanting to, like, establish his authority, like, trounces over and just seizes it, and then activates the trap. I, I yeah. think it's a little bit more than that. I think Jonas is 1, while he's being careful, he's trying to direct you guys to collect the other things in the room, but it takes so long that you've collected all the things, and you're getting frustrated with it, and... and Come on, plus, hurry up over there! I, just give, give it a moment. It'll, it'll give, just in a little bit of... And then... Uh, and then 1 goes over there and just... Snaps it off, and that activates the trap. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what happens. So the floor opens up. Actually, we all slide down. More, more than snatches. I, I think he actually, I think he actually breaks the staff. And oh, it's the staff. Yeah. Sorry, I was. I was. And that's to why there's only one shark left. Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. So we break the staff, and there's a trap. Uh... Yeah. Uh, I think this ends badly for Ralph. You agree, Justin? Yeah. That, that, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, so now we're falling down this trap. Uh, 
How does this end badly for you, Ralph? Uh, it ends badly because I fall into the smelliest pile of garbage. <laughs> it's like you thought it was bad up there, and now it's like... <gasps> uh, this is terrible! Oh, this is awful. <laughs> this Look what you did to... Look what you've done to us! <laughs> what? What I've done to us? You did this! You're the one who had to fiddle with the stupid stick! You're the one that snapped it off the shrine! <laughs> Why would you do this? Who does this? And then he's not even just referring to you, he's referring to the, the room in general. <laughs> I, you ha there's garbage too. You have to put it somewhere. Ah, ah. What does it all have to be here? This is fine. This is fine. We can recover from this. Ugh. We can recover from this. There's like these. They're banana peels that just look weeks old. And Who's like been eating bananas here. I don't know. I think the dragons eat bananas. I don't know anything about dragons! Ugh. This is the worst. So everyone's, like, you know, disgusted and whatnot, and I think... I think... I think Jonasay feels... feels pretty sick. And I think Jonasay just, um... starts throwing up or something. <laughs> and I think... And I'm thinking Jonas1 is looking at this. And it's eliciting some kind of response, and then you start feeling really sick, too. Uh, <laughs> so we're just throwing it all up, and Ralph is there, just like, great, now I have to be in charge. <laughs> yes. Ugh. So maybe it goes well for him. <laughs> I don't know. I, from, from what I've picked up so far, I think, like, being in command has just been, like, a you and me battle. And Ralph's yeah. fine to just go along with it and not have to have responsibility. I guess so, yeah. So now he's suddenly having responsibility subbed on him. So it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Right. Taking responsibility of you two is... I'm not sure if it's worse or better than this pile of garbage. <laughs> Alright, I think that's a good point to end the act. Uh, Ralph, do you want to give Ray that last token? Yeah, here it is. Uh, just so you know, the more of a singer color you have, the better your ending's probably going to be. <laughs> okay. So, Alright, just letting yeah. you know. Alright, so that's the act break. Uh, now it's the time to just kind of stop for like a couple minutes, relax. Uh, yeah, think things are hopefully, uh, hopefully the vacuums will stop. Yeah. So... One small problem I accidentally overlooked is that you guys don't actually have access to the tilt table. Or, I guess, the uh, ending table, either. So, oh. I have it, though, so that's nice. It's just have that's to good. Have... Figure out how to do that. Let's see. At the end of Act 1, roll the dice in front of you, do some dice math. If you have the higher number of either color, you will help add a pair of complications. Roll the unused die in the central pile. Let's go to the, uh, reading, reading, reading. Take a break. Alright, so... Okay, so what happens here is that I roll 2d6, and that total is going to be my black total. Uh, Justin rolls 1d6, that would be his white turtle, and then uh, Patrick, you will roll 2d6 minus 1d6, and that would be whatever that ends up being. I just roll it here now? Yeah. Like yeah. that? So okay. you got a 3, so your white turtle is 3. I got black two, black two, and then, so that means you're white seven, okay. If you have the highest number of either color, you will help add a pair of complications.
So yeah, this time we get to uh, add the tilt to the game. So one second, let me just... Color. Let's make that a better color. I am bad at picking colors. Let's go with red. Red's a good color. Colors. Yeah, I'm gonna make it 40. Put that over here for some reason. Yes, a thrill as I try to figure out how to do the rules. Alright. Uh, da, da, da. So roll the unused dice of the center pile. So Justin, you can roll the. Uh, Justin, why don't you roll the right dice and I'll roll for the black dice? Wait, are you just saying roll it? Roll three or wait? I'm confused. Three d six needs to be it. Uh, all one word, with no space. Right, you're right, I'm a fool. Did you do that earlier also, or...? I'm not great at things! <laughs> um, uh, so, oh. one, a four, and a six. So, yes. Me and Patrick are then gonna work together... Wait, so what happens? I mean, it's two eleven. What I, do they mean? I I, I'm reading the rules right now. Uh, basically what's going to happen is me and Patrick have to work together to determine two tilt elements. On page 56. So the... Uh, they're like the same way, I think, as we did like the character thing. Uh, Alright, so, then we use the 6, the 2, and the 3, and then the 1, the 4, and the 6 to uh, pretty much do what we did with the character generation. So, one second, let me write those down. Do, 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 text. Ugh. The text box on roll try doesn't work the way I think it should. That's annoying. Wait, did I roll white, or was I rolling black? It doesn't really matter. They're the same. They're the, it was the same number for both of them. Oh, alright. So, one second, I'm just going to write down the general categories for uh, Patrick to see. I didn't think this one through. I next time I'm going to do something that doesn't require a book. At least not a book everyone needs access to. All right, Patrick. There is the uh, options. Go ahead and choose one general category based off of the numbers that we rolled. One second, please. That's fine. Uh, one of the options for failure is a stupid plan what are we executed doing? to perfect. Okay, so uh, you see what I just posted there to the chat? One mayhem, two tragedy, three innocence. Pretty much, uh, what we're going to do is uh, you choose one of the numbers we rolled to select one of their six. Then I'll do the same. Oh, I see. One mayhem, tragedy, okay. And mayhem, then, tragedy, innocence, guilt, paranoia, failure. Got it. And then whatever one I pick, you use another number to pick one of the options, I'll post that for you, and then whatever one you pick, I'll pick one of the options for that. Okay. And this is so, going to be the tilt, so this is a new element that makes the second act more 
fiaskery for our group. Okay. Okay. So we have one, four, two, three, and six, and six. Okay, uh, so I will pick... I mean, I don't know what's in any of these. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I don't have time to... That's okay. Uh, I'll pick Mayhem. Is that okay? That is always the best choice. You just put a noose on Mayhem. Perfect. Second to write out your options there, Patrick. Oh wait, you already did one. Dang. Alright. Uh, so right back. Alright. That's okay. We don't actually really need this. We got six. Alright, so I'll just focus on two, three, four, and six for you, so. Two. This is unfortunate because the number one thing for failure is a stupid plan executed to perfect it. Oh, this one might actually go really good for us later. I'm back. Hi, Justin. You two can talk while I type if you want. Fill the dead air. Huh? Wait, okay. what? Say again. I said you two can talk if you want, fill the dead air as I do this. Or not. And then I'm sure it's not the loudest vacuum. I haven't been here in a vacuum. Typing with one hand is not easy. Oh. Okay. You really did not like that second six there, Patrick. Alright, sir, I posted your options. I'm gonna quietly look at what the mayhem options are. I know, two is tempting. Mayhem, frantic chase. Uh, three is a dangerous hammer. Perhaps Meth Burgle gets loose. Yeah, that, that's not going to be a dragon. Uh, four, magnificent self-destruction. Six, misdirected passing. So I'll just let Patrick there decide what we're doing. Hey. Yeah, uh, uh, we're going to take a break after uh, we're done with the uh, setting up the tilt. So it's like the volume of the, the vacuum is going to change because like of how the room structures work in this house and it's like right. I'm, I'm in this area that's pretty open so well, I can right hear... Right now it sounds like a Vuvuzela, so that's interesting. Huh? I said right now it sounds like a Vuvuzela, which is a, this Australian instrument where it's just like this rodent tube. Oh, that's, like a yeah, okay, that's the thing you're talking, yeah, I just couldn't hear the word that, that yeah. yeah. 
I, I missed a vital word, no, but now it makes sense. That's that, uh, that's say that's that word cup thing. Uh, what is that? I can't remember what it's called. Me neither. So, Patrick, do you know which one of the options is this person you wanted? Hmm. Out of these, this is for failure. Uh, no, that's for yeah, for failure because. I pick the broad category, and then you pick the specific. Okay. And then I get to pick from Mayhem. I'll pick number two. Number two? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's what I would have gone with, so I don't get two. Just kill that two, so I get three, four, or six. So let's see. Number three. A dangerous animal, perhaps metaphorical, gets loose. Uh, number four. Magnificent self-destruction. Or number six, misdirected passing. Um, I'm down. I'm thinking either three or four on that one. Let's go with. I'm gonna go with for magnificent self-destruction, because that seems like a thing that would happen to us. <laughs> Try 32. Nah, that's my slide. So small. Oh, no, wait. I was doing a very specific thing to you. Ah, whatever. You try to do good and then you die. So, we pretty much already know that the uh, staff catches fire, right? Probably. We don't even know what the staff yep. is in canon yet. We just think it's a stick. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. And I think that kind of makes it better. <laughs> I think we don't have the candle holders or anything anymore. Maybe we have candles, and maybe the stick is structured in a way that it can hold candles. Sir! <laughs> That's a way to go with it. It's so, probably also so, how it catches fire. Yeah. Well, there's our tilt. Uh, we're going to take a small break now, I think. Uh, so I'm going to just take uh, in the stream here for now, and then... We can come back in a few minutes to do Act 2. Until then, uh...